What's going on guys? Gio Snow right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about the iOS 10.3.3 Beta 3 that has been released by Apple a couple of hours ago for uh, developers. And also we're going to discuss about whether is this important for jailbreaking or not and what you should be doing if you're on iOS 11 Beta 1 or on uh, lower firmware. So uh, I'm going to start with the iOS 10.3.3 Beta 3. And um, it has a couple new updates, especially as you can see on the iPhone 7 side. Uh, for the iPhone 7, it does have a new version of the base pen. You can see that iOS 10.3.3, uh, Beta 1 and Beta 2 have been using the 1.90.00 version. Well, um, iOS 10.3.3 Beta 3 that has been released today and is available, you can download the IPSW here on the iPhone wiki. As you can see, it has a new version in here, which is 1.90.01, .01, which means that they touched a bit on the base pen of this iPhone, but only for this version of the base pen, MDM9645. This one in here didn't get any changes. As you can see, uh, the, um, the version remained constant. Also, you can see this one is a little bit uh, bigger in size. In fact, it's quite big uh, if you want to compare it with the previous one. So it's definitely changed a little bit. Now, if you want to download it, as I said, you can get it from the iPhone wiki, but if you're, if you're already have the iOS 10.3.3 beta 2 or beta 1, you should be able to see a notification on your device. Again, it's just bug fixes and stuff like that, that Apple is trying to push out before they release iOS 10.3.3 for the general public. But as you probably know, iOS 11 is also up and um, yeah, they, they are very keen on promoting the uh, the fact that it contains a lot of uh, improvements, including the fact that you know you have the dock in here for the um, for the iPad. You also have the new uh, the new control center. Some improvements on the camera. We made a review on that, so yeah, it's uh, it's important for you to see that if you want to check out, you know, iOS 11 and stuff. But what if you're already on iOS 11? Well, it's important for you to um, to keep in mind that if you're already on iOS 11, by now you should probably go back to iOS 10.3.1. iOS 10.3.1, it's still signed. We all know why it's important to go there for jailbreaking. And um, yeah, you know, the, um, the exploit that will be published somewhere in August by Adam Donenfield that might allow downgrades back to 10.2 if you have the blobs and so on. Somebody might get it and turn it into a jailbreak, although that's not um, confirmed. It can happen. So iOS 10.3.1, if, you, if you're on iOS 10.3, 10.3.1 or 10.3.2 or a beta 1 of the iOS 11, iOS 10.3.1 is the safest version for the jailbreak currently. Of course, if you're lower uh, version, for example, 10.2.1 or 10.2 or 10.3, you should be safe. I mean, the exploit should also be compatible uh, with your device. But um, if you're on iOS 10.3.1, stay there. Do not update the 10.3.2. Do not update the 10.3.3. And the reason I'm saying this is because iOS 10.3.3 is uh, in beta 3 already. I expect Apple to somehow push the, uh, the iOS 10.3.3 uh, update or the final version somewhere next week. And if they do that, they're most likely going to kill iOS 10.3.1. Uh, because it's been signed for quite a lot of time now, um, and um, yeah, it's been a couple couple months now, so uh, it would definitely get unsigned. And if it does get unsigned, you won't be able to downgrade to it, even if you save your blobs. Uh, speaking about the blobs, I really hope you did save your blobs with your uh, TSS saver in here on onecanon.com. If you did not, check out the tutorial in the description down below. Even though I uh, mentioned saving the blobs in many of my videos recently, a lot of people still ask me whether they should save the iOS 10.3.1 blobs or not, which means that some people did not see the parts where I recommended that. So I'm going to reiterate that right now, go ahead, save your blobs, even though you cannot downgrade directly to 10.3.1, for example, if you're on 10.3.2 and iOS 10.3.1 gets unsigned, the blobs are still going to be very useful in the future, so go ahead and save them right now. If you're on iOS 11, as I said, go back to 10.3.1 if you're interested in jailbreaking. If you're not interested in, in, in iOS jailbreak at all, you should stay, of course, but keep in mind it's it's buggy as hell, so I wouldn't use iOS 11 as my daily driver, but of course that is all up to you. It does contain some great new features, but to be brutally honest, there are more bugs in iOS 11 than, than new features. J that's just my opinion though. But if you're interested in jailbreaking, go ahead right now, 
downgrade to 10.3.1 while you still can. As you can see, Apple is um, is doing their best to, to push out the betas and to finally stabilize iOS 10.3.3 because iOS 10.3.3 is most likely going to be the last version of the iOS 10.x. Um, if they are going to release iOS 10.3.4, it's probably going to be some um, important bug fixes or some patching of some exploit that gets uh, released into the wild, but I really doubt they're going to focus on a new major version of iOS 10.x anytime soon. So this is pretty much it guys, as I said, if you're on iOS 11, either stay there if you're not interested in the jailbreaking or downgrade back to 10.3.1 because it's still signed right now if you are interested in it. iOS 10.3.3 Beta 3, just bug fixes on iPhone 7, as you can see there is a new version of the baseband, which means and implies that they, they were updating the baseband a bit, but nothing really important you should be updating for. So this is actually it guys, till the next time do not forget, subscribe to stay updated, I'm Geosnow, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you don't, peace out.